I got something for all you BRZ lovers that I really want to show you this morning. This has been here for quite a while. I've actually had this for like a couple, I'm gonna say about a month I've had this sitting here. So every time I post a video, you guys comment and you're like, Robbie, fix the fitment, fix the fitment. You guys don't understand that I'm doing things in like a, a proper order because when I didn't do them in a proper order on the Civic, it lost a bunch of people. A bunch of people just hated it. I'm not gonna put these wheels on until after we get the car wrapped and then we can put tires on the, on the wheels and put the wheels on. But I just want you guys to know, I do have four very big boxes full of wheels and it's absolutely killing me that I can't put these things on. I pro like I'm not happy about it, but it's what's happening. So, here's something that happened. I, I don't know exactly actually what happened. I don't know how this happened. But I noticed yesterday, every time I get in the Civic, it's like wet inside. Like like the windows on the inside are like foggy and like wet. And then it started to smell a little funny and I'm like, dude, I think we're taking on water. Like I think the Civic's getting wet. I felt the back seats and right here was soaked, up front, drenched. And I was like, oh my God. It probably has something to do with the body kit. Like it's definitely my fault. Like I, I ruined it. So I started peeling up the carpet last night. I was just going crazy. And I get the carpet up and I patched it at this point because this is kind of irrelevant. But here you can see that there's like a little chunk of like sound deadening missing and like a little silicone on the floor. I guess I hit a rock. I'm dude, I'm not kidding you. This hole was an inch wide and like all this stuff was just blown up. Like it looked like a little mountain right there. Must have hit a rock or something on the road because I feel like I've done that a hundred thousand times, especially when this thing was slammed. Um, I must have just ran over something and it just went and punctured the floor and I never noticed until raining season started and then I noticed that like the inside was getting kind of wet. So that sucks. I had to take the whole inside apart. Mostly dry now. I had this heater going on it last night. I had it so hot that it was like steaming. Like the rain, like the water was just evaporating up off of it. It was, it, it was good. That's what you need to do. things first with this car before we send it out to get wrapped there is one more thing that has to get done is very simple we just we didn't know what order we were gonna do the car in when we first did it so we didn't just jump on doing it right away because we didn't want to like mess anything up but before we get into that I just want to tell you about one more thing that is super simple and that is the ridge wallet you guys know I absolutely love these things and so I saw this ad the other day it was like stop overpaying for um, name brand products or something and it was a photo of this wallet and I was like dude the difference is if you buy that on Wish for like 20 bucks, it's gonna break and then you're gonna have to get another one. The thing I love about these is sure, these are a little bit more, but they have a lifetime warranty on them. Like when they break, they come with a little screwdriver, you take it apart, you put in the replacement part on what broke and you're good to go. Like you're set for life. You could spend a hundred bucks on this wallet and never buy another wallet. Like how does that not make sense? Tis the season to save yourself 10%, use the code Robbie10, grab yourself a Ridge wallet, grab your dad a Ridge wallet for your birthday. Really? Grab your dad a Ridge wallet for Christmas. Use the code Robbie10, there's a link in the description down below. If you guys haven't yet, check them out. Anyways, what we're gonna be dealing with today is, I think I talked about this in the last video. Behind this beautiful booty, oh, that's not a one hand job. Behind the beautiful booty is this disaster. So, the way I look at this is, we're gonna bag this car. So if the car needs to come down at least this much more, especially with like nice big wheels, we can't have hitting happening here. So this needs to get cut just a little bit higher. Something that's nice is that this kit is actually lower sitting than the Rocket Bunny. So if you get a Rocket Bunny, it actually sits up higher on the body. So even if I were to like use this for a couple years, get completely bored of it and go, hey, I'm gonna get a Rocket Bunny kit or something new, I will never cut too high with this kit because this kit default sits lower. I don't know if that made any sense, but we barely cut this when we did it the first time. It was just like a little baby cut. Now looking at it and looking at all the room we have to air out on nice big wheels, it's just not gonna work. I think this side is actually more important because the gas door, we can't cut too high because there's a gas door. So I'm gonna do this one for reference, I think. You guys already know.
arguably the worst part of having a wide body in my car. Not the cutting, like I don't even care about cutting it. Cutting it is just whatever. It has to get cut. The worst thing I'm gonna have to do to wide body this thing is take the battery off. Oh my god, now I'm in the dark. What the f*** just happened? Oh my god. I'm pretty sure we just had a power outage. Oh, we're back! Oh, we're off! That's not good. But I don't know how this thing works. I've never had one of these like fancy side garage door openers before and that door has a deadbolt on it. Which is just great. There we go. Now I'm getting notifications that the power's out. So actually now that I'm looking at it, this might relieve me of my... What did that do? Oh my god. But the lock, dude, the lock! Oh, oh! We're back in business, baby. Open the door before the power goes back out. Open the door. Oh my god, it doesn't work. Oh man, I still gotta lift it. Super bad windstorms outside. The winds are supposed to be absolutely terrible. I haven't noticed because I've been in here. But obviously the winds are doing damage out there, so. At least we got power back on, we got the lights, and I found that little dead pull. So I'm just gonna send it. And uh, hopefully it doesn't keep going out because I really don't want that to happen, but I do need to get some stuff done here. So as long as we don't end up in the dark while we're in the middle of welding, I'm all right. All right, so this is looking good. I actually just did like a couple welds on each thing. So every, basically every flap has at least one weld. Some have two. Um, but the whole thing's like super structurally sound. I beat it again with a hammer to try and pop off any of the welds that didn't actually stick. And they all seem to be sticking, which is good. So when we did the sieve, you guys remember we like completely overdid it. We tried to weld the whole thing, like seam the entire thing with welds. And then we learned we don't have to do that. We ended up warping the panel because we welded it too much. And we learned our lesson. So we, we know now you don't have to cover it in welds. So for this one, there's at least one weld per little flap thing and like lots have two. So that should be more than enough to keep it there. Essentially, you just need to keep it there and then we can just run the seam seal over. So I think this side's ready for seam seal. This side just needs to be opened up a little bit more and then we should be ready to go. I just know that seam seal stuff kind of smells so I'd rather do both at the same time than do one and then smell it while I'm doing this one. I'm actually the worst. This is a new lens after I dropped my camera and broke my old lens like two weeks ago. And I was just putting the garage door up and it hit the tripod and tipped the camera over right on the lens. And I was like, oh my God, if we break another lens, I'm gonna lose it. But it seems like it's working, so that's good. The exact same thing as the other side. And then I just cut like um, these little guys. These are basically just like filler pieces because to get it to go up to the height I want, I know it's unnecessary how big I cut it, but to get it to go up to that height, you kind of have to like, the, the, the material is, pre-bent inside so you have to give like little release cuts that go way too deep so those are just patches to cover that but it's good it's all welded up this has been the biggest thing that's been affecting me with this car so far because i really didn't want to leave it outside because i really didn't want water to go inside there we are dude that looks like it got a little bit thicker hopefully this bum ass paintbrush that i just found is going to be able to do the job all right i think i'm going to start inside just kind of feed it into all those cracks because at least from in here, you can see where the light's coming through. Once I do it from out there, even if there's still like small holes, I feel like you won't be able to see it as well. So I feel like right now is like the ideal time. Yeah, this little paintbrush is not in love with the fact that I'm using it, but it is gonna work. Come in here on the inside, you can't see any light coming in except the holes where the actual body kit bolts up to, which is good. I also touched up, like, see that little hole back there? That's where, like, the fender liner would bolt into, and I kind of just, like, gooped that full of stuff, too, so that nothing goes flying up into the cabin, but... Boom! So, something else I wanted to do today, I had one more mod that I wanted to throw on there that I was telling you guys the other day. Um, that's too high. I was telling you guys the other day that like I have a couple things that would look really good before it goes to wrap. I decided against one of the things I wanted to install at the end of today's video because it's just one more thing that won't be in the BRZ that's gotta have to move in like a week. And I'm sort of just not down to do that, you know? But I do have this. I don't know if you guys, I, I know a lot of you guys, like some people just watch BRZ stuff, some people just watch Civic stuff. I don't know if you guys watch everything, but 
If you guys didn't see in the Civic, we actually recently installed a new carbon fiber catch can. So this car has the ADD W1 catch can and you guys know I love, I, I love those products. I run them in all my cars. Um, and we actually got a beautiful real carbon fiber catch can for the BRZ. Like just, can we get a focus on this? Like just look at this thing. This is real. It's not a sticker, it's not like so many things these days are stickers and just garbage. This thing's real, if you look in there you can kind of see the weave, no you can't, yes you can, sort of. It's real, super light, beautiful to look at. And it should be plumbed the same way as this one is. So I need to just double check quickly. So basically I got a full BRZ kit. If you guys order um, like a vehicle specific kit, so this, this is a BRZ specific catch can from them, you get like this little mounting bracket, you get the hoses already elbowed and clamped and everything like ready to go. Here's the other hose. Of course you get a sticker. And you get all the clamps and fittings that go on this guy. You also get this little hose clamp that kind of separates them. So right now you guys can see I have this green, <laughs> green hose clamp right here with the blue catch can. I don't know why I have that. But you can see like it loops down right here. Here's a little elbow that comes on there already. It comes with this little pre-bend and everything, like this goes right down to there. It's already set up, which is super cool. And this is literally gonna be like the world's easiest install for me. Boom. It really is the little things, like look at that. Look at how nice that is. I, and I actually like that this little clampy thing matches too. That's nice now. Because it was kind of ugly how it didn't match before. Also, if you guys have any suggestions for... I'm probably going to get rid of this wood trunk. Uh, it was really cool. I really liked it. But it's completely scratched up and ruined. And we're going to be doing a whole new trunk setup. So I'm kind of bouncing ideas around right now. Do I do another wood one? Do you guys have better ideas? If you guys have better ideas, definitely comment and let me know below. Before I let you guys go, I just want to tell you that like, there's something about this. About like having all this... We're gonna shut the door because it's really cold. Anyways, there's something about having all this and having it all like right here, right in my backyard that's like absolutely one of the coolest things about my channel, I think. Something that I really, really um, take pride in, I guess, is the fact that I can do this out of my backyard and, and I can be realistic to you guys and it can be like, you watch my video and you're like, damn, Robbie did that in his garage. I can totally pull that off. And I even liked it more when I had the single car, like the really, really tiny garage. Cause it was like, man, if he can dip a whole car in that garage, like I can do it, you know? Like that's something I'd really like to show you guys is that you can do anything with what you have. Like it really doesn't matter what space you have, you can make anything work. Anyways, that's been like a big pride point for me is just doing things out of my home, out of my backyard. And I'm also sure you guys have noticed in the last couple of weeks, the videos have slowed down, my posting everywhere has slowed down. Everything has just kind of slowed down. I'm, I'm going to take a whole video and explain this. Like the, the reveal of, sorry, there's just dirt right here. You guys stayed to the end of last video. I showed you guys something and that was the first time I've showed it on camera because it I had a really good feeling about that one so I showed it to you guys it worked it worked out so we will be getting into a shop which is really dope and if you guys are still here at this point in the video comment down below committed crew because I really want to know how many people are staying around for the sneak peeks at the end but we're gonna be getting a shop and something I hate is that that's that's taken away from my kind of backyard do-it-yourself type feel in my videos. It's going to put me more on a scale to some people where it's unrealistic and, and they can't also do it. But there's that's not why I'm trying to do this. The reason I'm trying to do this is because if you guys have noticed everything has slowed down and everything kind of... I wasn't posting anywhere as much as I normally would in the last couple weeks because it, it's been affecting me for a while. But dude, I actually just found a hole in my pants from the welder. I thought this was a stain, but it's not. That's from welding. It literally singed right through my pants. That's tight. Anyways, um, posting, what was I saying? It's really affecting me working from home. And I know that it's the dream, right? It's the dream. Everybody dreams they don't have to go to work. They wish they could stay home and work. And it's dope, yes. But picture not going anywhere ever. I never leave. I never go anywhere. I never do anything. Like, I wake up, I edit 15 feet away from here. I walk out back, I film, I work. I go back in the house. I really don't drive anywhere. I really don't go anywhere. Like my cars don't even need to be insured. Like I, I just, I don't do much. I don't go anywhere. And I know that like people like Brad loves coming over here and working here. He thinks this is the coolest thing that this is what I have. 
and I wish I could feel the same way about it, but I've lost that feeling and it's just become a feeling of like bored and lonely, like useless. Like I feel like I don't have a purpose. Like I just, I stay at home all day. I feel like I have no purpose. We got a shop, but we didn't get a shop to be like everybody else. I don't want to be like everybody else. I want to do this out of my garage. I wish I could do this out of my garage, but I can't. It just doesn't, it's not working for me. For me, it's really affecting me. It's making me feel useless. It's making me feel like I have no point. I just, I exist here all alone all day. People come and go from my house, but I never leave. And I know that you might think that sounds cool, but just imagine never leaving your house. Like it sounds like a dream when you have to go to work every day, but I want to go to work. I, I want to leave and go to work. What we're doing here is allowing me to go to work. And that's where I've been. That's kind of why everything has slowed down. I feel bad. I started the members thing and then I like slowed right down and I was like, God, you can't be doing this. So thank you to everybody that's joined as members, by the way, you guys have sneak peeks of the car I actually bought and I've been telling you guys about the shop also. So that's what's been going on. It's been hard for me to do things. It's been hard for me to be productive because I'm just going stir crazy. It'd be really cool for me to see my house as a house. Like I used to love to cut the grass and do all that kind of shit, but now it's just like, I didn't care because I saw my whole house as like a workspace and I couldn't escape the workspace. My, like, I don't want to decorate for Christmas. I don't care. I need to work. This is my workspace. You know what I mean? Like it just it sucked. It, it ruined when me and Courtney first moved here. We were like having a home was dope and it kind of took that away and it made my home my work and then I didn't care about the home as much. I don't know. I don't know, but it's been affecting me and I wanted to let you guys know that that's where I've been. That's what I'm doing and that's what you guys can expect to come really, really soon. Um, so I wanted to get a couple things buttoned up like the BRZ and that we'll be ready for this move. That's all I got for you guys. Thank you guys so much for sticking around at the end. I absolutely love you guys. Make sure, you know what? Just do whatever's going to make you happy. If you want to like this video, like it. If you want to comment, commit a crew because you stayed, comment, commit a crew. When you wake up tomorrow, do something that's going to make you feel good. That's all I got for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out and stay committed.